All right, we're gonna take you through our PFP, pitchers fielding practice. We're also gonna utilize our first basements here at the beginning, then we'll implement our middle infielders, then our third basements, as well as our catchers. So it's a great drill for your pitchers, but it's also a great drill for the entire infield. Here we go, PFP. Yeah. We're gonna start with the first baseman up close, all right? And we're gonna work with our pitchers cutting across the line and getting the first base. They might catch this ball on the run, or they might have to cover the bag. Here we go. For the purpose of this drill, we pitch, we flip it to the pitcher every time just to practice this transition. Pitchers have to know sometimes they're going to cut this ball off and they might have to beat the guy to first themselves. Again, this is when the first baseman is up close. We have a potential bumper hit guy. You got to communicate. You got to say something. Okay? That's why we have to talk. Communication. Me, 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 me. Good. Our number one goal is to get the guy out at first. We sprint through the bag. And then we will break down as that guy might be trying to round third. With two outs, if this guy's called safe, he could try to score. Maybe he was running on the pitch. But we always want our pitcher in tune that there's another guy on base. We're going comebackers. We teach our first basements here to be low, as you never know what throw you'll get. Here we go. The pitcher has the option to flip the ball if he gets momentum and he's close, close enough to the bag. Nice play. Again, we want to teach our first basements to be low, always ready for a low throw. It's very easy to go up and catch the ball. It's difficult to catch a low throw if you're standing tall. 